When you are creating priorities, there are three different ways to measure the priority's progress. So to add a priority, you're going to hit this Add Priority button, give the priority a name, assign it an owner, and then you'll need to select whether it's an individual priority or a company priority. The first unit of measurement is going to be KPI driven. KPI driven priorities are going to be manually updated by the owner. Once you select KPI driven, you'll need to select a KPI from this drop down menu here. We've pre populated some in the system for you, but company administrators can go in and adjust the KPI listings if you want to add to this list or remove from it. For this particular priority, let's select target count and say that the target is going to be 150,000. You would put in 150,000 as the target, and then you would need to update that current value as you progress throughout the course of the quarter, so it will track accordingly. You can update your current value right from within the priority editor. However, the preferred method is going to be by hitting this Update Priorities button on the left side navigation toolbar to update your KPI-driven priorities. Once you've selected your KPI and entered your target, you'll then press Save Priority, and that priority will then be saved in the system.